Hi friends, hope you are fine. These are all confusing terms associated with naming different parts of a flower. Let us understand these terms within 2-3 to three minutes. First, sepal and calyx, petal and corolla. Sepal, as you see, is the outermost whorl of a flower. So, it is a small, leaf-shaped, often green-colored outermost whorl of a flower. The term calyx is used when sepals are grouped together or calyx is made up of sepals. The second term is petal. Petal is a brightly colored part of the flower often with fragrance to attract pollinators. Collection of petals or group of petal is called a corolla. Stamen and antrecium, carpal and kinesium. Antrecium is the third whorl of the flower. It is a male part of the flower made up of stamens. The basic unit of antrecium is called the stamen. So, stamen is a male reproductive part of the flower that is made up of anther and a filament. So, antrecium is the third whorl of the flower which is made up of basic unit called stamen. Stamens together form the third whorl called as antrecium. Gynecium is the innermost whorl of the flower. It is made up of carpels. A carpel is a female reproductive part that is made up of stigma, a style, then this is ovary. Within the ovary, there are ovules. After fertilization, this ovules forms the seed. So, the basic unit of kinesium is called the carpel. A flower may be made up of a single carpel or many carpels. The next confusing term is carpel and pistil. Take this case, this is a pistil. It is made up of one or more carpels. In this case, here it is only one pistil and can have one or more many carpels. Here it is, there is only one carpel. Carpel is a female reproductive part that is divided into stigma, style, ovary and ovule. We have already discussed that. This is a second case. So here you can see this is one carpel, this is a second carpel and this is the third carpel. Here there are three pistils and three carpels. So here the carpels are separated. The condition is called as apocarpus condition. In some cases, these carpels may be united forming a single pistil that is made up of three carpels. So this united condition of carpels is called a syncarpus condition. So here as you see, this is a pistil. Pistil has three carpels. So, a pistil may be made up of a single carpel or one or more carpels or many carpels. Hope you are clear. The next term is the pedicel and the peduncle. The peduncle is the main stalk that supports the entire inflorescence. This all flowers grouped together is called as Inflorescence or group of flowers forms an inflorescence. This main stalk is called the peduncle. Whereas the stalk that is connected to the flower is called the pedicel. One inflorescence often have a single peduncle. Whereas pedicel is the stalk that supports a single flower. One inflorescence like this often have many pedicels that supports each flower. So let me make it more clear. So this main stalk is called the peduncle that supports the inflorescence, whereas pedicel is the stalk that supports a single flower. Hope you are clear with these terms. We have given a video on 12 different parts of the flower. You can refer that for more. Take care. Stay blessed. Thank you so much for your support. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.